Welcome to Asian Feed, your go-to source for the latest and greatest in Asian entertainment. Today, we've got an exciting lineup of trending stories and cultural updates from across the East and West. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the buzz. Blackpink's Jisoo thrilled fans with the announcement of her solo agency, Blissu, shared on social media. Blinks, the dedicated fanbase, eagerly embraced this momentous news. Blissu will exclusively manage Jisoo's solo ventures, while YG Entertainment remains in charge of Blackpink's group activities. The agency's mission statement resonates with a simple yet powerful goal, to spread the joy emanating from Jisoo's unique talents. This commitment underscores a desire to highlight her individuality and bring delight to a broader audience. Jisoo's foray into solo endeavors marks a significant milestone in her career, showcasing both artistic independence and a new phase in her creative journey. The establishment of Blissu not only reflects Jisoo's personal growth, but also mirrors the evolving landscape of the K-pop industry. Fans eagerly anticipate the exciting projects and moments that Jisoo, under Blissu, will undoubtedly bring forth, amplifying the joy she has consistently shared with her dedicated audience. Meanwhile, a group of elderly rappers from Chilgok, Korea, known as Suni and the Seven Princesses has become a local sensation by rapping about farm life and societal issues. Led by 81-year-old Park Jumsoon, affectionately called Suni, the group started in a small community center. Their unexpected popularity has turned them into local celebrities. Suni and her crew ignited a positive trend, inspiring the creation of four more senior rap groups in Chilgok. The primary goal is to address loneliness among the elderly through the power of music and camaraderie. This heartwarming story showcases the impact of creativity and community engagement, proving that age is no barrier to artistic expression and connection. The elderly rappers of Suni and the Seven Princesses have not only found a way to express themselves, but have also created a ripple effect of joy and companionship in their local community. Finally, Sanrio, the parent company of Hello Kitty, has announced plans to expand the Hello Kitty Cafe presence in North America in celebration of the iconic character's 50th anniversary. While details about the locations, opening dates, and the number of new cafes remain undisclosed, the move is part of a broader initiative to offer various programs and experiences for U.S. Hello Kitty enthusiasts. As of now, the U.S. is home to three Hello Kitty Cafe branches, a Grand Cafe in Irvine, California, inaugurated on September 14, 2018, and two others in Las Vegas at MGM's The Park and Fashion Show Las Vegas, opened on July 12, 2019 and July 8, 2022, respectively. Hello Kitty, designed by illustrator Yuko Shimizu in 1974, made her debut in 1970 75 on a coin purse for young girls and ventured into the U.S. market in the mid-70s. Initially portrayed as a white cat with a red bow, Hello Kitty has played a pivotal role in popularizing Japan's kawaii culture in the 80s and 90s. Over the years, her influence has gone global, giving rise to TV shows, films, video games, and an extensive array of products, ranging from school supplies to wines and even themed jets. That's a wrap for this week's Asian Feed Weekly Recap. We hope you enjoyed the journey through the latest and greatest in Asian entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exclusive content and follow us on social media platforms for real-time updates. Until next week, stay tuned, stay updated, and keep feeding your love for Asian entertainment with Asian Feed.